Welcome to Modern Study Pro. In this video, we're going to solve the exercise of Chapter 12, Polymers from Your Chemistry Book. Timestamps for each question are given in the description box, so you can easily jump to any part you want. After this, just one last chapter will be left from the entire book, and once we complete it, we will also solve the concept assessments. So make sure to subscribe to Modern Study Pro and stay connected. 1. Which of the following best defines polymers? Answer. B. Large molecules built up from many smaller molecules called monomers. 2. What type of linkage is found in polyamides? Answer. B. Amide linkage. 3. Polyethylene is an example of. Answer. B. An addition polymer. 4. The repeating unit of the addition polymer formed from ethene is. Answer. A. CH2, CH2. V. Nylon. 6. 6 is an example of A. Answer, B, polyamide. 6. Which of the following processes produces water as a byproduct? Answer, B, condensation polymerization. 7. Which statement is not true about PET? Answer, B, it is a polyamide. 8. What is a major environmental challenge caused by plastics? Answer, C, they accumulate in oceans. Explain. 9. Polyesters are formed from. Answer. B. Dicarboxylic acids and diols. X. Which of the following is not a property of plastics? Answer. C. They're easily decomposed by microorganisms. 1. Define a polymer. A polymer is a large molecule made up of many repeating small units called monomers. 2. What is a monomer? A monomer is a small molecule that can join with other similar molecules to form a polymer. 3. Identify the repeating unit in polyethylene. The repeating unit in polyethylene is CH2CH2. 4. Explain what is meant by addition polymerization. Addition polymerization is a process where unsaturated monomers with double bonds join together without producing any byproduct. 5. Describe the process of condensation polymerization. Condensation polymerization is a process where monomers join together with the elimination of a small molecule, such as water or methanol. 6. Name the linkage found in polyesters. Ester linkage, COO. 7. What are the monomers required to form nylon? Nylon is made from a dicarboxylic acid, like hexanedioic acid, and a diamine, like hexamethylenediamine. 8. Explain one environmental challenge associated with the disposal of plastics in landfills. Plastics are non-biodegradable, so they remain in landfills for hundreds of years, causing soil pollution. 9. Describe the structure of PET. PET, polyethylene terephthalate, is a polyester made from terephthalic acid and ethylene glycol, linked by ester bonds. X. Why is PET considered recyclable? Because PET can be broken down into its monomers and repolymerized into new products. 11. How are addition polymers formed from monomers? Addition polymers are formed when monomers with double bonds break their bonds and link together without releasing a byproduct. 12. What is released during the formation of condensation polymers? Small molecules like water or methanol. 13. What is the repeating unit in the polymer formed from ethylene glycol? And terephthalic acid. The repeating unit is O CH2 CH2 O CO C6H4 CO. 14. Why is PET widely used in textiles? Because PET fibers are strong, durable, resistant to stretching and shrinking, and lightweight. 15. What is a key difference between the polyamides and polyesters? Polyamides have amide linkages, CONH while polyesters have ester linkages, so. 16. What is one benefit of recycling PET? It reduces plastic waste and conserves natural resources. 17. What is released during the formation of condensation polymers? Water or other small molecules. Same as Q12. 18. Give an example of a condensation polymer. Examples. Nylon. 6. 6 or PET. 19. How do the properties of plastics depend on their polymer structure? If the polymer chains are tightly packed, crystalline, plastics are strong and rigid. If chains are loosely packed, amorphous, plastics are flexible and soft. XX. 
What are two environmental challenges associated with plastic disposal? Plastics accumulate in oceans and harm marine life. Plastics are non-biodegradable, causing long-term land pollution. 1. Describe in detail the process of addition polymerization, giving an example of an addition polymer and its repeating unit. Addition polymerization occurs when unsaturated monomers, alkenes, join together without producing a byproduct. Example, polyethylene from ethene. Repeating unit, CH2, CH2. 2. Explain how condensation polymerization works, using the formation of polyester as an example. Include the reactants and the type of linkage formed. Condensation polymerization involves monomers joining with elimination of a small molecule. Example, polyester, PET, formed from terephthalic acid and ethylene glycol, with ester linkages, COO. 3. Discuss the differences between addition and condensation polymerization, giving examples of polymers formed by each process. Addition, no byproduct, unsaturated monomers used. Example, polyethylene. Condensation, byproduct, water, slash methanol. Released, monomers with two functional groups used. Example, nylon PET. 4. Evaluate the environmental impacts of plastic disposal, covering landfills, ocean accumulation, and the formation of toxic gases from burning. Landfills, plastics persist, causing soil pollution. Oceans, plastics accumulate, harm marine life. Burning, releases toxic gases harmful to humans and environment. 5. Outline the importance of polymers in the textile industry, giving examples of specific polymers used and their properties that make them suitable for textile applications. Nylon, strong, durable, resistant to wear. PET, polyester lightweight, wrinkle-resistant, quick-drying. Both are widely used in clothing and fabrics. 6. What process allows PET to be reused? Why is this process beneficial? Process, recycling, depolymerization, and repolymerization. Benefit, reduces waste, conserves resources, decreases environmental pollution. 7. Assess the role of polymers, such as nylon and PET, in the textile industry. How do their specific properties make them suitable for different applications? Nylon, high strength, elasticity, abrasion resistance used in hosiery, ropes, parachutes. PET, polyester wrinkle resistance, durability, moisture resistance used in clothing, fabrics, bottles. 8. Evaluate the differences between addition and condensation polymerization in terms of the types of monomers used, the nature of the polymer chains formed, and the byproduct produced. Monomers. Addition uses unsaturated monomers, alkenes. Condensation uses monomers with two functional groups. Chains. Addition no side product, condensation side product, water, slash methanol. Byproducts. Addition none, condensation, small molecules. 9. Analyze the environmental impact of addition and condensation polymers. Compare their biodegradability and discuss how this affects their disposal and accumulation in the environment. Addition polymers, non-biodegradable, accumulate in landfills and oceans. Condensation polymers, some, like nylon, PET, degrade slightly faster but still persist. Overall, both cause long-term environmental issues. Disposal is a challenge due to low biodegradability. This was the complete solution of Chapter 12, Polymers. Now only one final chapter is left from the whole chemistry book. After completing that, we'll move on to solve all the concept assessments together. So stay connected with Modern Study Pro and don't forget to subscribe.